Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, we are going to see the newly released AI video generator that is open source and also that is generating videos in real time. So let's see what is that video generator and how it works. So let's get started. So to try this video generator, you can go to huggingfish.co and sign up with your account. Then go to spaces and scroll down and you will see this LTX video playground. Click on that. If you are unable to find this, you can go over the search and search for LTX and uh, click over here. And from here, we can generate AI videos. So this is the prompt box and this is the negative prompt box. And you can adjust the frame if you want and also you have advanced settings here these are the example prompts so you can see the example you can see so this one looks really good and you can see this is the open source and it generate videos in real time so these are the github and uh, project page so i'm gonna click on project page you can see the first real-time AI video generation open source model. So you can see the documentation over here. So you can click and read those documentation if you want. So these are the example videos. So let us try to generate one video. So these are the another two examples. So there are some uh, artifacts uh, in um, dynamic motions. So make note of that. To get a better result, they have given some prompt tips. So you can see, you can uh, pause it and read it. So I'm going to use uh, ChatGPT to generate one prompt. So I'm going to use it like this. You are a video prompt generator. I will give a theme and you will generate a detailed prompt like the given example prompt then i'm gonna copy this example prompt then go to activity and paste it over here then enter so it will say provide a theme so i'm gonna provide a theme a middle aged spaceman in the deserted area. So, this is the theme. So, it generated one detailed prompt. So, I'm going to copy this prompt and go to Hugging Face and enter in the prompt box. I'm going to leave the negative prompt as it is. If you want to change, you can change it as well. Also, you can change the resolution. So right now it is in 768 by 512, 97 frames. I'm gonna go with this. If you want, you can change the resolution and the frames. Right now frame rate is in 25. I'm gonna go with that. If you want, you can change that as well. And the advanced option, the steps and guidance scale. You can play up these values as well. I'm gonna leave the default values. I'm gonna click on generate video. Right now the wait time is 193 seconds because it is in queue. But once it starts to generate, it takes minimal amount of time. Let me show you that. And you can see it starts to generate and it takes around only 10 to 15 seconds. And you can see the result. So let me play the result. So you can see how much realistic it is and it is perfectly following the prompt so let me try another one prompt let me type in the next thing asian woman in a village so this is the simple thing you can also give a cinematic theme as well so let me try this end of this prompt I'm going to leave the rest of the details as it is. Generate a video. And you can also see the parameter guide over here. So you can see the resolution preset. Higher resolution for uh, detailed scenes. So if we increase the resolution means it will give detailed scenes and high quality results. The lower for uh, faster generation and uh, simpler scene. Seed you may know. To recreate specific styles, 
using the same seed value. Guidance scales is uh, 3 to 3.5 is the recommended one. And for inference step, right now we are using 30. Uh, 40 plus means it will increase the quality. Fewer steps, 20 to 30 for speed. Right now we are using 30. So we will be getting faster result. And you can see the result. So this one is okay. So these are the way to generate text to video. And there is also image to video option. You can see over here. So this is the image to video option. Here we need to drop our image. Then here we need to enter our prompt. This is the negative prompt. And these are the resolution, frame rate, and advanced option. And here are the some of the examples. So this is the image. And you can see the result. So this is not perfect. So these are the different examples available over here. So this is the image and this is the output. So I can see the output over here. So the image to video outputs are not perfect as uh, text to video. But in future, they may be um, develop it. So let me add one image. So I'm going to use this image. And the prompt should be at least 50 words. So you can uh, type in the prompt. So you can see. It should be minimum 50 characters. So I'm going to give the prompt. You can also use ChatGPT to generate a prompt. So this is the prompt I typed in. It extends the minimum character of 50. So I'm going to click on generate video. And that's it. Here is the result. And you can see it has some morphing effects at the end. So that's it. This is how we can convert our text to video and image to video using this LTX video playground. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for uh, more future tutorials. Also press the bell icon so that you can get instant notification when I upload a video. Thanks for watching and bye.